We're in Hosea chapter 4, 5. All right, who can remember what kashal is? Stumbling. You will stumble today, in the day, and also the navi will stumble imecha with you in the night. Okay, and now we have this damiti imecha. So what is the imecha? Can you remember that one? Your mother. Your mother. That's right. Remember the whole case is against the mother because she is uh, the wild one. So, uh, so we have this root, which is dama, and we have also in this form dama, and so we're going to look at all of it. Starting in Mizmor, Mizmor Memtat, Pasuk Shalosh Esrei. The man, in, ge- in general, Baal. We haven't really talked about Baal very much, but everything which is Baal has to do with being without or gone away, or swallowed. Right. Did we have swallow? Swallow is bala. And I think we had it. But there's some very, very funny people, you know, Hebrew roots kind of people who said, well, you know, the first w- letter of the whole Bible is bet. And the last letter of the Torah is lamed. And so the lamed looks back at the bet, and it says, you know, lev which is heart. And so the whole thing is about your heart. And because there's no word which is Baal. And that's not true. There is a word which is Baal. And it means not. In general, the man is, is without, without, Yalin means to, uh, to stay overnight, like a malone, like a hotel. So the man doesn't really remain. Nimshal. So what is the root of Nimshal? Mashal. Mashal. Mishle. Okay, he's like an example. He's being an example. Behemoth, the animals, Nidmu. So this is this idea of Nidma. It has to, it also means silent. Okay, so it does mean silent. <clears throat> but here it's like they're so silenced that they're gone, <laughs> done away with. And this is what we're going to find out in Hosea that it means. But so it, it's a very broadly used word. That's the first one, Nidmu. The animals, uh, the animals die. They perish. Yeshayahu Vav, Pasuk Chamesh. In the year the king Uzziah died, <clears throat> I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. And this is what does he say? And I said, Oi li, oi vavoi, trouble to me. He says, ki nidmeti. Basically, I'm finished. I'm undone. And then he tells you why. Ish tame svatayim, a man of unclean lips, anuchi. I am. Uvtoch am tamei svatayim anochi yoshev. I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. I dwell. Ki et hamelech and the king, Yahweh tzvaot, the Lord of hosts, ra'u enai. My eyes have seen. Okay? It's not I have seen with my eyes, is it? No. My eyes have seen. He, is he dead? No, he's not dead. But he feels like he might possibly could die because he said he saw... Yahweh. Esther, Dalet, Shalosh, Esrei. So this is Mordechai speaking, Lehashiv. Well, it's not exactly returning. He's going to answer her back. He, he, in, in other words, somebody has to bring the answer to her. He never talks directly to her. right? Somebody has to bring her the answer, to bring this answer to Esther. Al Tidami. Now it's kind of like she's pondering silently where? Benafshech. In her soul. But it's, it's in your soul. Right, because he's bringing the message to her. Lehimalet is to escape, that you will escape in the house of the king from all the Jews. Right, don't, don't think that. Don't silently ponder that in your heart, okay? So this is another uh, shade of meaning to this, this Dhamma. Okay, we'll talk about how it all goes together when we finish. Breshit Aleph. So now we're going to look at a, a related noun. Pasuk Esrim Veshesh Vayomer Elohim. God said, Naase. What is Naase? We will make? We. we oh. Right, the nun. We will make the Adam. It's all menu in our shape, in our form. Kid demut enu. So this is demut. Demut comes from dama. So this dama also means to be like something else in our life. And so how this comes kind of together is that as the thing, the idea of being silent, well, being silent and being done away with, you can understand that, Mm -hmm. yes? But the idea of uh, 
to be, to be like something, as a thing loses its distinctness, distinctiveness, an idea of being silent and also being like something. It ceases to be something distinct. Yerdu bedugat hayam, so yerdu is like to tread down, to have dominion over the dag in the yam, the of in the shamayim, the behemaz, and the romes, romes, ha romes, all the creeping things on the earth. Yeshayahu, yudalid, arba esrei. Now, what, what happens in this chapter? What happens in Yeshayahu 14? It's Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. Similar stories in them, or stories about the same guy. I will go up to the Bama. You know what the Bama is? The high places of is a um, clouds. The high places of the clouds. I will be like. Right? That's the Demut, right? Le Elyon, the Most High. These uh, next ones are actually this root from Damam, but I don't know how you can tell the difference. Shemot, Tetvav, Pasuk, Sheshesre, Tipol, Nafal. Okay, it will fall on you. Emata, Emma is a kind of fear, fear and dread. And Pachad, we learned, is also pa- fear. Fear and troubling. Gadol, what's Gadol? Great Zoroacha. Zoroa? Zoroa? We talked about Zoroa. Whose arm is it? What, what happens in this chapter? Song of the Sea, it's called. Okay? It's a song of triumph. So whose arm is it? God's arm. By his great arm, Yidmu. We're in kind of like the silence. Like a what? An Evan. They're as silent as a stone. Ad, until Ya'avor Amcha, until your people pass over, Yahweh. Adya Avor, Amzu, this people, Kanita, Kana, you purchased, the people that belong to you. So these people, they are still as a stone. So this is also silent. They're also done away with, and they are like a rock. They sunk to the bottom. Yehoshua Yud, Suk Shtem Esrei. As, Yehoshua Yud, the bear. And right, he's saying, he's saying to Yahweh, okay? When? Biyom, in the day, tet. What is this tet? Giving. La tet. Remember, uh-huh. it's the infinitive of Natan is la tet. This is the absolute infinitive. In his giving, well, who gave what to whom? God to gave. Who got the Amorites? Israel got the Amorites <clears throat> before the face of Israel. He gave them over. He gave the Amorites over to Israel. And what happened? Le'ene Yisrael, in the eyes of Israel, Shemesh Bagivon Dom. What happened? The sun stopped, right? The sun stood still. It stopped talking. <coughs> and the moon was in the valley of Ayalon. Sun stands still. It's a, it's a command form. And so we probably should have done the next verse anyway. The next verse, Vayidom Hashemesh. And the sun stood still. Okay, so we have this idea of not exactly be dunning, dunning away with. What? <laughs> not exactly done away with. But, but stopping, okay? This also comes from the same <laughs> root. Okay, one more. Mizmor kuf lamid aleph. Pasuk But it doesn't mean if not. It doesn't mean if not. It's, it sort of hangs on the previous one. You know, my heart is not haughty. My eyes are not lofty. I do not concern myself with great matters, things that are too great for me. Uh, in other words... I have set quietly, shiviti, vidomamti, also quiet, to make quiet, nafshi, my soul, k-gamul. You remember who the gamul is? The weaned child, al imo, on his mother. So, like a weaned child, is my soul to me. So what does all that mean? The child is settled, okay? When the child is still nursing, before it's engaged in nursing, it's so looking. Perfect. Where is that yeah. thing? I, I gotta have that thing. I'm, ah, give me the food. Ah, ah. But once a child is weaned, it's not looking for the mother's breast anymore. It's still willing to lay quiet. So, your soul, but what does it mean for your soul to be silent like a weaned child? It's sort of like that, you know. When the hurricane comes, you don't have to worry. You don't have to think. You're always asking, you know, beating on God's door. I gotta know this. I gotta know that. I gotta, 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 gotta. You, and you don't. You rest assured. You just rest in your assurance. Okay, that's good, all right? So these are all the meanings for these roots. They have to be, they have, they're about being silent or silenced until they're gone or um, 
silence in the sense of, of losing your distinctiveness to become like something else. So now we go back to Hosea. And we're in 4-5, okay? And everybody's going to be uh, stumbling around. And at the end of 4-5, it says, Vidamiti imecha. I'm going to silence her. I'm going to finish her. Why? Because this is about the re. This is a contention that God has. Not, I mean, it's with Gomer. Gomer represents the behavior. But his reeve is with the people of Israel because they're the same thing. So now, in verse 4-6, we have another dome. It's also dome. My people are destroyed for lack of, lack of, lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. That's what I need. Sounds <laughs> tasty. What is it? They are silenced. They are done away with who? Ami. Okay, here's a blee, right? Uh, from Bli. Remember, the Bli is going to be gone yeah. away or without, and what do they not have? Dot. No. My people are destroyed for knock of knowledge. Ki, Ata, Hada'at, the knowledge, Ma'asta. Okay, so this is in parallel. These two things are you rejected this, I'm going to reject you, you forgot this, I'm going to forget you. That's the parallel verses, okay? So the actual root is Ma'as, and it means reject. But you see a, a big fancier form. He says, I'm going to reject you. You've got the as on there twice. Let's see where it is. In um, Bamidbar, Yudalad, Pasuk uh, Shloshim Ve'echad. Do you remember we Taf? Were. Children. <laughs> okay? Your children, children, mm -hmm. which you said about, about them, lavaz. Remember baz, bazaz? Spies, right, despise. <laughs> He said, these, these children, which you're giving up, you know, they're trying to come into the land. And the people said, oh, our children are going to die. We're all going to die. He said, these children, which you said will be for, for a spoil in the land, that they're, that they're despised, yeah, yeah, they will be. The Heveti, bringing what? Who's, brought, who's doing it? I, 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 will I will bring them and Yadu. They will know. Haaretz, Asher Ma'astemba, the land that you despised. Remember, there's a whole incidence with the spies, right? The spies, so they said, I'm, okay, you don't want to go? You're not going to go. You despised this land. You rejected this land, right? But your children, that you said, well, they're, they're lost anyway. They're the ones who are going to see the land, and they'll know it. Uh, Shmuel Aleph, Tet Vav, you have another uh, opportunity to pr practice the Tet Vav. Pasuk Esrim Veshesh. Shmuel says to Shaul, what? Lo Ashuv Imach. I will not return with you. Why? Ma'asta. You rejected what? Devar Yahweh. Ve'yim Ascha. He will reject you. Mehiot. From being, exactly. Hiot is the um, absolute infinitive. From being Melech. From being the king of Israel. Okay? That's a rejection. All right, one more famous rejection in Mizmor. Kuf, Yud, Chet, Pasuk, Esrim Bishtayim, the head of the corner. Okay, the stone which is, so that's the, another rejection. Okay, so let's translate, or oh, we started translating in Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. Because you, ma'asta, you rejected knowledge. Em asacha, I will reject you with a double samech aleph at the end. Mikohen, from the being the priest, li, vatishkach, uh, don't forget, uh, and you forgot Torah Elohecha, the Torah of your God, eshkach, I will forget banecha gam ani. Sons. Yes, also I, will, also I will forget your sons. So everybody you know, that, that, uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I remember it was on the editorial page of Newsday, which is a great big Long Island newspaper. I mean, everybody takes it, right? But they never, you know, they never read the rest of it. You forgot the Torah. They forget the verse. That, that's, that's part of the problem. Okay, verse 4, 7. Kerubam. So what's the root of that in there? Rav. Something is increasing. What is increasing? The sin. The sin against me. Kavod, the glory, the kalon. Kalon we definitely haven't had, and it means shame. Where are we? That have been really Cologne. We're on the cologne. Mishle. As you can imagine, there's a lot of information about shame in Proverbs. Shloshim v'chamesh. 
Perek Gimel. Kavod is the same. It's the same comparison. Kavod versus Kalon. Honor uh, is what Chachamim. What the Chacham Yinchal is. So Nachal is an interesting word, uh, which we're not going to actually discuss. But it has to do with leading along, or even. Uh, having to do with a river kind of flowing, but in the end comes to mean inheritance. There's a Nahar. Nahar is a cognate. Yes, Nahar is a cognate for a river. No, it has to do with inherit. So a wise man inherits honor, and the Kasil is a fool, and Mayrim has to do with lifting up, but also the idea of um, what he's going to get, and he inherits cologne. <laughs> Another Proverbs, Mishlei. Yud bet. Pasuk shesh esrei. So Avil is another kind of fool. There are many. Bayom. In that day. At the same time. What is this yivada? It will be known. It will be known. What binyan is it? It's passive. You, nif. There's no nun. Why is there no nun? What tense is it? Future tense. So you're not going to see a nun. So you have the yud for he will. The yud of the root changes to a va. Okay, and I think we probably haven't had anything like this. So maybe, maybe next week, if somebody will remind me, <laughs> uh, we'll do a verb sheet on it. Okay, the so this is common. See it in, uh, for example, I will be saved. Is ivasheya, ivasheya, and you have a vav in there in the place of the yud in the in the nifal. Okay, what will be known in that day? Kaas, anger. anger. A fool, his, anger. his a fool's anger is known right away, right? Because he just immediately blows up. However, what is this kose to cover? You like that one? Yeah. The kalon, his shame. And who covers his kalon? The arum. You remember the arum? I go all the way back to Genesis 3. There's two of them. He was more cunning. He was more crafty. How are those two things related? How is the cunning and the naked related? They're slick. This is also, so this is wisdom, cover your, cover your cologne, or don't put any on in the first place. I think that's good. All right, well, Amir, well, I, didn't, I didn't teach you, but it means to change. For the multitude uh, of their sins against me, because of the multitude of their sins against me, I will change their honor into uh, folly, into shame. Okay, next week we will have class.